Hey Robbins Nation, Devin here, um, hosting our GoFit20 class for Friday of this week. Um, if you're new to joining this series of classes, we're hosting a series of educational and physical um, sessions to provide some content for the community during this challenging time. I'm calling it COVID 20 um, because trying to put the events of 19 and COVID-19 behind us and so this is our our way of trying to give back keep people engaged um, and hopefully give people some some useful content um, and a challenge if we can so I'll give you a little introduction I'm uh, Devin Cravani um, I have a uh, undergraduate degree in biochemistry and a doctorate in physical therapy um, Today, uh, we're doing a class on aerobic training. Um, this is gonna be a pre-recorded video because I'm out here in the Lebanon office and I'll be treating patients at the noon session, um, or the noon time slot, which is when they typically, typically roll out the live video. So we are open, practicing social distancing, maintaining cleanliness. So um, if you have any uh, concerns, Give us a call, and but we're, we we can still set up an appointment at this time. Um, so, just to emphasize a couple things before we start, everything we do today is free, um, and all we ask is that you share this with um, share this with your friends, family, anyone you think anyone who you think might benefit from this content. Um, with as with every class, you can uh, enter into a drawing. Um, which could give you the opportunity to win a care package of sorts. Um, now on to a little bit of a medical disclaimer. Um, this is not medical advice, educational content only. If you have any qualms about it, performing any of these, move, any of these movements or you haven't you know, exercised in, in some time and you're interested in starting, don't rely solely on, on this video. Reach out to a medical professional or a trained uh, clinical professional and lucky for you, you have a resource right in front of you so you can always reach out to us. Okay, so don't use this as a substitute for a medical consultation or evaluation. All right, that being said, let's get started. So today's class is on uh, MAP training, M-A-P, which is a abbreviation for maximal aerobic power, which plainly speaking, is a type of aerobic exercise. So um, we'll get into a little bit of, of uh, a review of some physiology and um, exercise. <clears throat> so our bodies can, fundamentally, our cells use a single compound um, to drive most of our reactions. Um, so how we, when we refer to energy, using energy, it all kind of comes down to one molecule called ATP. Okay, so that's the, the, the power, um, power source for our cells. It drives exercise, you know, um, anything you can think of. Um, so that being said, our body has different methods of producing ATP, this, this molecule. Um, and so when we classify exercise, um, it usually comes down to fundamentally um, what, how we are producing, what, under what categories, or what category does this exercise what stimulus does it produce in the body? What power source, um, or what derivative of that power source does it use to, to keep the body going? So um, generally, without getting too in depth, uh, exercise can be aerobic or anaerobic. And those words sound complicated, but really they're just the, the Greek words, or the, the Greek definition of with oxygen or without oxygen. So. Um, this ATP molecule can be produced in the presence of oxygen or it can be produced in without in in with oxygen being absent in the and we're talking in the cell so um, so that's a bit of like the in-depth physiology now we'll kind of zoom out to more of a macroscopic perspective so um, when when you think of here you're exerting yourself to a very challenging degree you usually can't sustain that over time um, that's usually uh, your body uses these stores of ATP that I was talking about and it expends them very quickly. You can't sustain that. When you exercise for a longer period of time, your body uses up the initial stores of ATP that it has, that initial fuel, and then it has to start producing more. Um, and it generally can't produce it at a very, 
intense rate because of the demands of the activity. So aerobic exercise falls under that category. Your body kind of expends the use of its ATP and then it has to keep producing more as you exercise. Um, and it does that in, in, the, uh, in the presence of oxygen. So it's aerobic exercise. So aerobic exercise, put practically, is basically long, long prolonged exercise, sustained activity over time um, at a lighter intensity. Okay, so that's what we'll be doing today. And maximal, the, the title or the, the catch of this session is a MAP session. A MAP, again, is just maximal aerobic power. Um, and that's just a, a style or a way of structuring aerobic training. So usually what you do when you're trying to allow for accommodation or allow the body to adapt over time, generally that's our goal with you know, approaching exercise or, or approaching things from a rehab perspective, you wanna affect some change over time. So um, this style of training known as MAP training, you start with a prolonged exercise time, a longer period, anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, and you maintain a light, um, a light intensity exercise for that whole, whole period. Um, and then over the course of weeks, you gradually either shorten the time or increase the intensity, but still keep it at this aerobic threshold. Um, so that may sound pretty easy. You know, if you're, if you're doing something light intensity for a long period of time, it sounds like, okay, well, what, what's the benefit of this? Well, it's actually very difficult to do from a, a mental or behavioral perspective because if something feels really easy and you're looking to challenge yourself, it's very easy to kind of cross the, the threshold and go um, push the intensity a little bit too much and then you find yourself that you can't, find yourself unable to maintain that same level of exertion for the allotted time period. On the flip side, um, if it's too difficult, at, if you set the level of exercise too difficult, um, you'll find yourself slowing down and decreasing the intensity. So we're kind of looking for a sweet spot. So as a rule of thumb, um, what you want to ask yourself as you're doing this, and I'll reiterate this once I start, is that um, can you maintain a conversation while you're, while you're doing this exercise? That's kind of the, the fine line that we're looking for. Um, and there can be a little bit of variation. You're not going to be perfect in maintaining, you know, just the amount of, of respiration that, that we want, but generally you want to be able to maintain um, a conversation pretty without, without much difficulty. So the other, uh, other kind of tip or, or idea to consider to, to help gauge your progress and how, how um, intensely you're exercising, if you're at that, that right threshold, is that um, when you finish this, uh, this uh, session, if you're practicing appropriately, if you're doing it the right way, you should be able to turn around the second it ends and do another one no problem. If you can't, then you've gone too hard. So um, that's kind of some, some general, a general overview of, of what, how we're gonna approach things today, okay? So the exercise we're gonna do today, um, Specifically, pick these exercises. You can you can tailor. You know, any any coach or any therapist or um, strength and conditioning professional could tailor this to, to their specific needs. But what I kind of chose today is to um, try to pick movements that require the the core of your body. We call it the proximal body. So um, all the muscles that are kind of closer to the spine and creating slings um, that help stabilize you. They're they're our stable base to kind of maintain their or challenge their stability um, while the limbs are moving. So these forces um, the core to be stable if, if you have to move the limbs off of that stable object. If you lose stability, then the, the limbs can't um, execute their function uh, efficiently. So what we're going to be doing are, I'll demonstrate them. I've picked out five different exercises. We're just going to put them in a circuit and then um, at that, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna exercise them at that threshold and we're gonna just repeat the circuit as many times as we can in the allotted time period, which for today, the sake of, of brevity, it's only 20 minutes, a typical aerobic workout will be longer. Um, and I've also selected some modifications. So I will just demonstrate the exercises and I will repeat them and you'll see me doing them as, as I perform workout today. So the first one is a plank up down. So I'll just demonstrate what a plank up down is. 
So you'll get into a plank position, and then you'll just get into a push-up position, and then back down, okay? The modification I have for this is just a plank hold, okay? So if the plank up down is too difficult, a plank hold. So get in on, on elbows. Or a push-up position, or a push-up position on, on, um, on uh, hands and knees, or we could do push-up position on hands and knees with shoulder taps. So those are all varying, um, varying difficulties modifications. Okay. The second exercise I have today, which would be the most challenging, would be a dumbbell and kettlebell carry. So the kettlebell goes in one hand, for me it's my left, and the dumbbell goes overhead. And I would just be walking 50 feet like this, and the next time I did it, I'd be switching. The modification for this is just a suitcase carry. So a suitcase carry is plain and simple. So just hold it at your side and walk with it. The third exercise is burpees. So a burpee is you get onto the floor into a push-up position. You push up and kind of jump into a squat, then jump overhead and then go down again. So that's the most challenging variant. Uh, the modifications I have are a push-up, if you could do one, okay, or a push-up on hands and knees. Okay. The fourth exercise are goblet squats. So a goblet squat, you can kind of just carry, pick up any weight that you have that's not too cumbersome and hold it like so and then squat, trying to keep the knees over toes, maintaining a general balance and trying not to deviate side to side or back or forth. The modification I have for that are just a, um, an air squat or a sit to stand. Uh, you would just sit, stand, and then sit down. And then finally, the last Exercise I have is a box step up, step down. So, step up, step down, step up, step down, just alternating. Okay. Um, the modica modification for that is just to either lower the step um, or do fewer. Okay, there's not much we can modify with that. So um, I'll review those, I'll call those out as I'm going um, in terms of repetitions, how far, um, but I'll go over them again right now. The planks will be a 30 second hold. The dumbbell press and carry is 50 feet and that's just approximate, um, just an up back, pick a distance and walk with it. Um, burpees is 10, goblet squats is 10 and box step up is 20. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'll review that as I start going. Um, and kind of as I said before, you want to maintain a conversational pace as you go along. And if there's any pain with any of these movements, just stop. You know, don't try to push through this. I gave you modifications, and I'll I'll call those out as as I'm going. But um, when in doubt, it's not a no pain, no gain type type deal. So that being said, I will get started shortly. The other thing I wanted to mention is with the movements, even if there isn't pain, if it, they don't really look the way that. I look while I'm doing them, then chances are you're not doing them optimally. And that's okay, the body's a pretty resilient, resilient structure, but when we're loading it, when we're, when we're putting tissues under load, so you're carrying things, heavy objects, doing things for a long, prolonged period of time, we generally don't want to, um, we don't want to continue doing that if it's not, kind of the form isn't the right way. So that being said, I'm going to start the timer 20 minutes today. I'm going to cycle through those exercises. Um, if you choose to go along with me, um, a, a mental tip I have is to kind of find your focus. Try to just focus on your breathing, and generally, they it's it's said to uh, it's said to be beneficial to try to find a rhythm with this. Okay, because you're repeating the same things over time. If you want, you can kind of keep a a notepad and just jot down. Um, 
jot things down as you're going in terms of what things are ch what things are challenging, what things you're feeling. If you felt, um, you know, if you have a watch or a timer, um, uh, if at certain points in the workout you felt different things, um, that's that can be helpful. And then in terms of equipment, um, I have a dumbbell, a kettlebell, the step. Um, you might want to consider a cushion to put on, under your knees if that's an uncomfortable position for you. But it really, as long as the, the weights themselves don't matter, because remember you're doing this for a, a long period of time, um, as long as it's something, you could use anything like a milk jug or um, a carton of, of, of water, or a jug of water, I should say. Um, but <clears throat> um, the weight, the weight, the density or the weight isn't, isn't, super important what is important is that it's just not something an object that's that's too cumbersome if you happen to have weights that's great if not try to modify as you can um, and then obviously for the step you could use or the step ups you could use um, a uh, you could use your stairs you know you have a, as long as you have a railing available for safety so I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer for me it'll be on my watch and I'll shout out some things as we go and that'll help me keep track and keep me on a conversational pace okay so i'm gonna start here so the first thing we're starting with are the plank up down and we'll go for 30 seconds <clears throat> have to be we don't have to be uh, switching perfectly on the dot in terms of the, the breakdown of time and if you have to rest at all throughout the workout that's perfectly fine as you can hear <clears throat> I'm already kind of already pushed myself too hard a little bit because I'm a little bit short of breath so I need to adjust my pace to be able to sustain this the whole time So over here in the office, I just kind of picked the length of the room, walked it, turned, and walked back. Next will be the burpees. So uh, the modification for this again are the shoulder taps, like so, or on hands and knees, or a push-up. But I will be showing a burpee. Okay, I'm doing ten. So the other thing, that's 10 burpees. The other thing is that if you attempt the standard movement, the first ones I laid out without the modifications, and as you progress, that feels like it's too difficult, don't be afraid to regress to one of the modified movements. So I'll keep shouting those out. And you can hear again, I'm starting to get a little short of breath, so I need to adjust the pace of my workout. Okay, so I'll do the goblet squats next. The substitute for these are just unweighted squats, keeping knees over toes, or throw a partial range of motion if you have to, or the sit stance. So 
so I'm starting to find a rhythm, control my breathing. It's easy to get gung-ho right out of the gate. That's something that, um, even in athletics, is kind of a, when you're working on endurance, you want to train that out. You want to maintain your pace. So now we'll just do the step ups. Doing 20. Each one counts as one. So this is my fourth. And it doesn't, doesn't really matter exactly how you're stepping up. You can step up and down with the same leg. You can alternate legs. I'm kind of just letting myself get into a flow. I'm not really thinking about it. Modifications for this are to either step up if you have a, a lower step available. This is about an 18 inch step. If you have a lower step available, you can do that. You can march in place. envisioning that the, the level of intensity that I'm that I'm targeting that's like a line okay it's a flat line and I'm imagining because I can't get it perfectly in terms of if you picture my intensity where I fall along almost a graph I'm kind of going up above and below that level of intensity as I work out but I'm trying to keep that deviation from that line as close to the line as possible minimal of a deviation as as I can and controlling my breathing. Okay, so back to the plank up downs. So I'll demonstrate just the regular plank hold this time. We're going 30 seconds, so I've got my timer on my watch. It's five seconds in. This would be the plank. This would be the plank taps. This is one of the modifications. Try not to sway too far back and forth. Or the plank up downs, which should be your target if you can do them. Again, just alternating side to side, like with the step ups. <clears throat> it's 30 seconds. Back to the carries. So switch sides, if you did one up, whichever arm was overhead last time, use the other arm this time. Hang in there. All right, so now we have burpees. Or the push-ups. So I'll show a burpee again. And to moderate my pace with this, because burpees are very challenging, I'm just gonna slow myself down, plain and simple. If you feel like you're not quite ready to do a burpee, but you're a little bit above doing just a push-up or a squat, you can break it down into either. So that's really what the components of the burpees are. <clears throat> it's a squat with a jump and a push-up put together. So you could break down the movement into any of its component parts. But for simplicity, if you just want to be told what to do, either a burpee, <clears throat> or a variant of the push-ups like I talked about. And we're doing 10. 
seven. Next are the goblet squats. We're at eight minutes right now, 8.40. Goblet squats or air squats. I'm breaking up a little bit of a sweat, but I'm breathing a little heavy, but it's not too difficult for me to have a full conversation. So, hey. What was that? Okay, now I'm going to do did the goblet squats. We got the box step up, step downs. So we're getting ready for our first patient today. So Kiara just walked in. So that's who you hear talking if you heard talking. Yeah. We're not live, so we're doing twenty of these. Again, the modification for this is you just do ten. I'll march in place. If you lose count like I just did, when in doubt, give yourself a couple more. So we're at almost 11 minutes. Plank up downs. This is for thirty seconds. So these can be a little bit rough if you're on a hard surface, as you might have already found out. So if you have something softer, like a pillow, I have an ab mat here. You can experiment with that. Generally, I like to try to do a little bit of both. Okay, <clears throat> and get a sip of water. Dumbbell carries. If you only have one object that you can hold on to, just hold it like a suitcase. Ignore the arm that's overhead. A little breather. Kind of found my pace, not breathing too hard anymore. Certain activities are more challenging than others as well, so you can find your pace in that sense. Burpees now.
more. So what I'm trying to do, I'll talk you through my mental process right now um, as I'm going and I feel that I need to breathe more. I'm trying to just consciously slow my breathing, taking breaths through my nose, out through my mouth. And I'm at a pretty good, pretty good pace for myself, but you have to use your discretion and find the pace for you. Okay. So I'm having a little bit of trouble, but I would say this is pretty good. I can still converse fairly easily. I don't find it's very difficult. So now we'll do the goblet squats. We got five more minutes. <clears throat> Just have 10 of these. Trying to keep my knees over my toes. Try not to let one side collapse in. Staying pretty straight. Knees can track a little bit over the toes, but that's kind of contingent on if your hips, how your hips are moving. So should look like this. If you're having trouble, just do an air squat or a sit to stand. So sit in a chair, stand back up. Sit back down, stand back up. Breathe one more. Ten. And we have the step ups. I won't lose count this time. Taking a second just to walk it out. Make sure I'm at that measured intensity, measured pace. When in doubt, slow down. Like I'm doing right now. intense is to maintain that level of exertion the whole time. Thirty seconds. The plank up downs. Four plank holds. Four plank shoulder taps. Suitcase carry, the overhead press. Shoulders should be stacked on top of 
torso, locked out arm. That's starting to get pretty challenging. Take a second, walk forward, walk back. All right, I'm not gonna finish the burpees, but I'm gonna start. You got 10 seconds. <clears throat> That's technically time. I'm just gonna finish up. Six more burpees. Whatever exercise you're on, if you're in sync with me, finish out. If you want, you can take your pulse. Controlling my breathing. A couple seconds before we finish up. All right, so that was probably a little bit of a quicker pace um, than I would have liked, but I was able to be cognizant of it and kind of ratchet my intensity back down. But I was kind of holding the reins today, and that's often what will happen. So in athletics, professional athletics, they'll use these type of workouts to, um, it's like a low intensity day, to give the body a rest after a lot of the high intensity loading that they do. So I hope you enjoyed it today. I hope some of what I was saying got through. Um, uh, if you know people who couldn't make to the class, but were, but are could not make it to the class, but are interested, tell them to go to our Facebook page, um, and they can take the class on their own time. Um, if you have any questions, comment, leave a comment. This won't be uh, this is pre-recorded, so we'll get back to those um, while it's, when it is being hosted at the the usual time slot. We'll get back to those as we can. And um, any likes or if you have any suggestions or for future classes, um, give us a shout out, let us know. Thanks again, until I'll see you at our next live class, which as of today should be on Monday. Um, and uh, until then, stay safe, stay positive, keep moving, move well, move often. See you next time.